Welcome to the channel. I'm going to show you something that's pretty cool. The Oro heated jacket. That's right. It's heated. I'm going to show you how that works here in a minute. Now let me go over a few things with you. It has a hood that has polar fleece lining. Very warm. Covers your head very well. You can even flip that up if you'd like. It also has the drawstring here. It has a jacket for sunglasses. You can put your cell phone. It goes back pretty deep. Well deep enough to handle any cell phone. It also has a inside pocket right in here that closes with velcro gotta excuse the wind I'm out here in the elements testing it it's pretty pretty cool out today now the way this works is right up here is how you turn it on once you plug the battery I will show you the battery in a minute it runs on a 5 volt battery I right now I have it on the medium or the the blue the blue the blue is low Got it on a low setting. Push it. Red is the high setting. Now it'll run on red, which is the high setting, for three hours. It'll run on white, which is the medium setting, for six hours. And then if you run it on low, which is the blue, it'll run for ten hours. And I found that once I've had this on high for a short amount of time, especially if I'm doing some type of activity, then I'll turn it down to either medium or low. And low, today it's 37 to 40 degrees, but we have probably 15 mile an hour wind gusts. But it's working, and I've been outside working, uh, low setting, and you, you can feel the heat. It has the heat right here in the back. It also has the heat on these, you, you can feel the plates right here, but they don't stick out you know you would never know they were in there all right let me show you the battery there's a zippered pocket and right here it has a plug where the battery attaches it is a 5 volt battery it has a meter that you can push tells you where your charge level is it also has a USB port so if you want to charge your cell phone put it in the same pocket you can do that uh, so we're going to plug it back in. Now the first thing that happens when you plug it in, that will flash red. You can just put that back in there and zip it back up. And this is water resistant, so if you're not out in the pouring, pouring rain, you're going to stay dry. It'll bead off of it. Now it's hard for me to see. But it should be blinking red. Now you got to hold it for three seconds. So you can see now that it is blinking red. And that is the preheat mode. And while it's doing that, uh, it has two very deep uh, hand pockets here that are polar, fle uh, polar fleece lined. And you're like, well, what do you need deep pockets for? <laughs> Where do you think I'm going to put all the milk bones for the dogs? That's handy. you got to have deep milk bone pockets. And it has them. It also comes with this travel case where you want to store it away it's it's vented uh, you get your charger you also get the battery and the uh, user's guide in here so it's a pretty handy little bag it's like it's nylon and yeah the battery comes in a nice box with the charger let's see if I can find the charger it's just a standard charger like you're going to get with your cell phones. You could probably even charge your cell phone with it. Uh, and it plugs into the wall. So, as I said, I have been testing it today. And it has kept me very warm. You know, you put your hands in your pockets and put them up here. And they're right on the heated coils. So now we are on the high setting. You can see it's red. We gotta, I kind of remember to hold it down. I think I turned it off. It may still be preheating, but I showed you when I first started the video the certain settings that it has. The zipper is YKK, so everybody that's older knows that's they've been around forever. It's a good quality zipper. Uh, this thing will zip all the way up, and I wear a three three X, so 
they had the size to accommodate my big butt. Let me model this thing for you. You know I model things. Look at that. Huh? <laughs> you want one of these now, don't you? After that, that little modeling on my runway. So anyway, if y'all are interested in this jacket, or I believe they have several other products such as heated gloves, vests. Uh, I wouldn't mind. Uh, I, would, I wouldn't mind a pair of them heated gloves, especially when I was working at the ranch. Uh, that would have been real. Cause when you get older, especially my hands, I got carpal tunnel arthritis. My hands get really cold. So those would be nice to have. But as also as you get older, it's colder outside. You know, I noticed that the cold is much worse on me now when it never used to bother me maybe I'm not as active as I was but this is good and if you're at a football game parades things like that I couldn't think of a better jacket to wear everybody's got a big old bulky jacket on and this is not by no means uh, cheap material you, know, you can feel this is good quality made stuff and it's just even without the battery in it and it and it on it's warm so I'll have a link down in the description uh, feel free to click on it go check it out check out their other products and uh, I, I'm gonna give it a big thumbs up I wouldn't steer you guys wrong now all right guys thank you thank you for joining have a great day happy training I'm telling you Waldo I don't know that if they make heated jackets for dogs I don't know if they do, do you want one? Yeah? Would you like a vest or a jacket? You don't know what a vest is? Okay. Do you want one too? No, I don't think they got them. I don't even think they got them for dogs, but you know, that would be a great idea. Yeah, you want, you want Clint Eastwood style. Uh, you're, that's a tall order. I'll find out for you. Yeah. Yeah, fur. No, there's not gonna be fur on it. Okay, well, yeah, okay. We'll see. I suppose you guys want a heated jacket too. Yeah. Well, you're pretty skinny there, Millie. So, yeah, probably do you some good to have a heated jacket. But where would you charge the batteries? Yeah, see, I knew there'd be an issue. Okay.